What's good, G-Life? It's your boy, MC Shadow, back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, check out the playlist. The playlist on top where my videos and no folders makes the video you're looking for a lot easier. Whether it's just the G-Series reactions, all that, and no folders. Don't forget to check out my second channel, Menace Society, MOD, where we talk about stuff outside of the streets. Now, what I wanted to get into was uh, something I had woken up to some of some emails, you know what I mean? Uh, people wanted me to, you know, talk about this. I didn't actually know what people were talking about uh, until I went and I watched the video. Um... I know there were some people that were waiting for these, you know, uh, the ones that don't like me that be like, hey, I thought you said they don't target innocent people and what they, what they, whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa. People that will never understand, but anywho. And then, so, but I still wasn't going to talk about the issue, right? Because none of my business, um, I, and I'm not from the, those areas, so, you know, why would I speak on it? Um, so I got hit up on the cash app, uh, three people, you know what I mean? I want to give their shout outs, you know, uh, Nestor Tokes, uh, 57, um, Unknown Stranger, and the other one was Jaime, Jaime the Wolf. I, I think those were, them. I should have probably wrote them down. Um, if I messed up your, you know, names, they dispensa. Shot me in the cash app, right? They wanted me to talk about the situation, right? Um, you know, certain of them were like, hey, you know, uh, what's, what's your thoughts about this? Because there's there's a few nor northerners that spoke about it, and they hating, and what the what the woo. Um, you know what I'm saying? And the other one was, you know, hey, I see, I told you that gang members target innocent people and would do so, you know, talking smack, you know what I mean? Um, and like I said before, these are just my opinions, my thoughts, right? But since people said it, well, only two of them mentioned that, well, since I'm non-biased, you know, what are my thoughts on it? Now, I didn't go and watch the Northerners' reactions to this because, you know, the Spensa, because homie told me to go check him out. But for certain reasons, I don't watch certain channels just for my personal reasons. No disrespect to them, but I just don't watch certain channels. So I'm not going to do that. Um, you know what I mean? And, you know, I'm at work, as you can tell, it's nighttime. So I haven't gotten, you know, the opportunity to check out, you know, maybe some other homies that, you know, they left the links or whatever. Um, but I could only imagine, right, um, from what I was told. Um... So I watched the video, Swamp Stories, right, talking about, um, um, hey, <laughs> my baby, um, about the situation, right? Now, what are my opinions on it? Um, Swamp Stories, you know, he's just an individual who, who really doesn't know what he's, you know, doing, um, you know what I'm saying? Um, when it comes to the street talk and how... How you have to be careful in what you say, you know what I mean? Um, because he doesn't know no better, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, people were saying maybe people were feeding him this information or whatever. I don't know, bro. Like, I can't tell you if that's true or not. Um, all I can tell you is that, you know, that there is homies up there that are established. You know, shout out to, you know, the, the Richmond neighborhoods, the, you know, front lines and, you know, Richmond Sutres and all those homies, you know what I mean? That do their thing, you know, shout outs to them, to the real ones. Um... Now, from what I was getting is that uh, the homie was telling me that, that, hey, that they're saying that, that upstaters, you know, be snitching and this and this and that. Bro, that's not true. Now, in the video, I seen that some of their homies did snitch. Yeah, you know, I can see that. But what I'm saying is that everybody has snitches. So we can't just say that these vatos are snitches or they're full of snitches because everybody has snitches, bro. That is no secret, bro. You know, you have had homies from, like, almost every neighborhood that have snitched, bro. Those are the facts, bro. Look, I'm not here to lie or play favoritism or cheerlead for any side. Truth of the matter is that both sides in all these individual neighborhoods have snitches in them, bro. So to say that that neighborhood is full of snitches or, or their brand is snitches or that site is full of snitches because some of these individuals snitch is ridiculous. That only falls on them specific individuals that throw rap. That's it. Not on, not, not on everybody else. You know what I mean? Because those are false statements. Just that you can't say all Northerners are snitches or all Northerners are punks or weenies, or whatever. Just because maybe you experience uh, some incidents that they that those incidents only speak for that individual or them individuals, not the whole entire group. That's why when people say that oh, upstaters ain't down or Northerners ain't down, I already know these fools are full of shit, bro. Truth of the matter is that both sides have down fools in them, bro. Plain and simple. Period. I'm not here to come and fucking play all these games and, and you know, let my pride and my ego get the best of me. 
We ain't doing that. We're here to call it for what it is. I know these fools have down fools. I know those fools have down fools. I know these fools have, you know, solid fools that ain't going to say nothing. And I know that side has solid fools that ain't going to say nothing. And I understand that both sides have weenies and snitches and everything, just like in my hood or every other hood. Um, that's just the nature of the game, bro. What you want when you're diff- dealing with so many different personalities. I mean, you can't, you know, keep an eye on everybody or make sure that everybody's with the program. Um, you know what I mean? It's going to happen, you know, not just with Hispanics, but with black gangs, with, you know, Italian, Russian. It has happened with every organization, bro. This is no secret. So to say that or to think that you guys are, you know, with, with no smuts on your names. I mean, when, when everybody has had incidents where, you know, certain homies, you know, fell off. <laughs> you know, like, who the who are we trying to kid here, bro? trying to lie to the audience bro and claiming you real bro speak the truth look and when he said that they took upstaters took over um northern california well that's not true because Nortenos are there are there <laughs> you know what i mean so how could that be possible are homies established there yes did they take it over no but are they established yes um you get what i'm saying um the 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 thing is it's people's prize that get the best of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, that's no secret. You know what I mean? Um, but to want to take shots at the north, they're calling them, you know, soft or no one thinks about those areas or those these areas, nothing cracks and nothing. You know, like he likes to take all these shots and it's like, bro, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like you don't want to be doing that and speaking on stuff that you don't know um, because they do have their writers. That's why the homies keep through chop there and why the Northerners keep through chop because they understand the potential that both sides, you know, could create, you know, on each other. Um, if not, then they would be moving around so freely without a care, without a care in the world. Um, but it doesn't occur that way as you guys can tell. Now, here's the thing though. Like when they try to say that, you know, Southerners started up there to combat Northern neighborhoods or that the Norteños started to combat Southerners. That is not true. From my personal opinion, what happened is that all these individuals growing up grew up from a pretty chaotic, you know, background. You know what I mean? They were troubled youths, troubled individuals, right? Who just wanted to live rebellious because they wanted to, you know, take release their anger, their frustration, their anger, and all the pain that they have bottled up inside of them. Um, That they just don't realize that they have, you know what I mean? Um, So, you know, they create these, you know, these group of individuals that get themselves into mischief to keep their mind off of what's really bothered them, the real problems of of their situations. You get what I'm saying? And when you have tempers and egos uh, at a young age out there, you know, who who are misguided, you know, they're going to clash with each other, bro. And it's better if they already have an excuse of why to clash. But the but there was no agendas, you know, that we're going to establish here to take these guys out or whatever. They just started just uh, 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 on the brotherhood pact that they have. And then they just ended up colliding with each other or just because these guys are already the rivals and they're just going to take flight. But it wasn't because they have a secret agenda or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Another thing is that when they, when that guy tried to say that, Hey, see, they do target innocent people. No, neighborhoods don't target innocent people. Targeting innocent people is that you go out there looking to target these innocent people, bro. You know what I mean? It just happened. You know, sometimes it happens, you know, where uh, shit like this happens. Sad, it should never. Now, another thing is that you're saying, you're like, if I come defending these individuals or defending the lifestyle, no, I only come and simply break it down and give understanding. I'm not justifying it or saying that it's cool because they, you know, have rules and stuff like that. No, it's a negative lifestyle, period. Yes, innocent people have fallen. You're you're trying to, you know, scorch me about it, you know, but yet the military kills a bunch of innocent people all the damn time when they're having their wars. You don't scold the military. You give them holidays and presents. You don't tell them for why they kill all those innocent people out of mind, out of sight, right? But then you want to come and try to, you know, facade it over here. Bro, it's ridiculous. If you don't sweat them, then why are you sweating these individuals? It's wrong in both sense. Um, but yes, it does occur. Um but that neighborhoods know, you know, that's not on their agendas. You know, homies are not looking to just to be, you know, hurting innocent people because you get no stripes like that. And, and you know, homies, you know, are looked frowned upon when they do shit like that. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, because that's not cool. You're, you're supposed to, you know, know who you're, who, who you're, you know, rolling up on and, and really know your, you know, what you're doing before you do anything, uh. You know, but some people, you know, are young and hot-headed and stuff. And sometimes shit happens, like, you know, like in warfare, military. 
Um, you know, and I'm not here to justify these individuals. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, um, it is what it is. But to say that, oh, this neighborhood gets down like that. Nah, that individual maybe got down like that. You know what I mean? But it doesn't speak on everybody else. Doesn't mean that they all do that kind of shit. Um, but yeah, some homies, you know, would, you know, go out there and, you know, rob innocent people, stuff like that. In every gang you have them that, that do that. You know, you have some individuals that are hot headed, short tempered and just take their rage on whoever they see. It's fucked up. It's kind of, you know what I mean? But that doesn't mean that those neighborhoods conduct themselves in that manner. It just means that that individual conducts himself in that manner. You know what I mean? Individuals actions only speak for themselves, not for the group. Um, you get what I mean? Um, but overall, in general, it's bad. Stay in school, you know. Well, those individuals did go to school. They still problems still happen. Came down their way, hey, you know. So it's a, it's a cold game, you know, and it's a, it's messed up. You know what I mean? There's nothing to say that you know, to try to, you know, say that that's cool because it's not. You know what I mean? Homies don't look, don't see that. Homies do that and be like, yeah, that's right, homie, good job. Nah, it's the opposite. You know what I mean? Well, at least in certain neighborhoods, you know, they get you know DP'd and and you know some even worse. You know what I mean? But you know, not every neighborhood conducts themselves the same, you know, but, I, but that doesn't mean that if that is what's going on, because that's what I'm saying, you know, you guys are not from those neighborhoods to automatically assume that that's how they get down or that's their agendas when it's not, bro. Are you from that neighborhood? How do you know, bro? You can't be trying to slap them, that those titles on them either, you know, because that's wrong. You know, because then, you, then you're just, uh, you're, um, you're guessing, you know what I mean? You're speculating, you know. It's speculation is never facts. Um, you get what I mean? But overall, like I said, he likes to, you know, Swamp Stories just likes to stir the pot. Um, you know, and, you know, and individuals, you know, their pride will get the best of them. Obviously, you know, if one side is looking inferior to the other, of course, you know, these individuals are going to speak their minds because they know what they have seen and experienced is, is, is the opposite of that. You know what I mean? Um, but truth of the matter is that both sides have done their thing and both sides have put in work and both sides have their down homies and both sides have their, you know, people that have fell off and through rat. You know, doesn't mean that one side has more rats than the other or whatever. I mean, it happens, bro. If you think, you know, that it hasn't had, or you guys, you know, are spot free. I mean, it's ridiculous, you know? Like I said, that's why I don't, I, I don't, I don't ever sweat the, the internet games. You know what I mean? Like. You know, trying to prove your case on the internet or or trying to convince a bunch of people that are not even gang members of who's really winning the war and stuff like that. When in reality, no one wins, bro, and it's all pointless. So, so what you doing? You get what I'm saying? Um, to want to be, you know, talking shit to individuals on the internet and think that that's gangster, bro, that's far from gangster. Now, there's nothing down about, you know, talking shit about another side on the internet, bro. There isn't, homie. Palabra, dog, there isn't. You know, I'm not defending no side or nothing like that, bro. I'm calling it for how it is, bro. There is nothing. You ask any homie, dog. Hey, fool, do you think it's gangster talking shit to your enemy on the internet? No, no, bro. It's far from gangster, bro. If you can't tell him in real life, bro, go tell him in real life. Get your ass over there and tell them in real life. If not, shut up. See why people want to talk shit to people on the internet and think that that's funny or they do it just for, for fun and games or just a pastime? Bullshit. They just want to look tough to the audience that's speculating what's going on in the drama. They want to seem like, oh, this guy's really down or crazy or putting it down. Because in reality, they never put in work and they never do shit. And this is the only way that they can get some status to their name. Oh, this fool really, really be representing it, whatever. Why? Because he's on the internet it's always talking shit? Bro, that's not stripes. Get the fuck out of here with that. Real stripes are in in the streets, period. Facts over feelings. There ain't nothing gangster about talking shit on the internet. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, some people just love playing the image, homie. But then she gets real. You know what I mean? Doesn't know, no. But overall, that's my opinion. I know probably not what you wanted to hear. You probably wanted me to insult the other side or, or you know, boost up this side. Nah, shout out to the homies from Frontline and Richmond, Sutrese, and the ones that be, up, you know, uh, the upstaters, and shout out to the northerners and everyone that does their thing and keeps it solid. And, and you know, both sides have down homies. Both sides have people that fell off. <laughs> and, you know, and that's just how it is, bro. But that's personal. My opinions. Shout out. We yeah.